I've been having a horrible day and the reason is one of the many reasons that I hate St. Louis and consider moving out west and leaving St. Louis because I know that I say a lot of great things about St. Louis and I do love the city, but not everything is fantastic. And this particular thing eats away at me pretty regularly. And I know that I talk about all the great things of living in St. Louis and moving to St. Louis, but there are things that you need to know <laughs> before moving to St. Louis. So here are the nine things that you might hate about St. Louis and that you need to know before moving here. Personally, the last one is probably the most controversial and usually people that live in St. Louis love it but those who are out of state or didn't grow up in St. Louis they absolutely hate it so make sure to stick to the end to see what this thing is because it could be a deal breaker for you What is up? My name is Nathan. I'm a realtor here in St. Louis, and I want to make sure that you know everything there is to know about living in St. Louis. So if you have not already, and this is your first time to the channel, make sure to be hitting that subscribe button and clicking that notification bell because I get you a new video every single week on what it's really like to be here in St. Louis, what it's like to live, sleep, eat, and play, and just everything to know about St. Louis. I get calls every single day of people moving to St. Louis and reaching out and wanting to work with me and having me help them find the perfect home for them, the right neighborhood, right school district, and make sure that the area fits their lifestyle. So if you're even thinking of possibly maybe considering a day in the future that you are potentially moving to St. Louis, go ahead and reach out to me. My phone number is down below. You can text or call me at any time just so we can figure out what might be best for you. And if it's it's a real good possibility for you to be moving here to St. Louis because it is a fantastic place. I know that this is a bad title uh, saying how much to hate St. Louis, but it really is a great place. So make sure to be reaching out to me. But there is a lot of things to like about St. Louis, but there's also a decent amount of things to be hating as well. So here are the top nine things that you might hate about St. Louis if you are living here. And number one is the weather. And this is the reason why I actually made this video is because it finally got to me recording late January. January, February, and I have gotten beat down by the weather. So here in St. Louis, Missouri, we are in the middle of the country and we get all four seasons. Now that does sound super fun that on Christmas it could snow and during the summer you get to be out in the pool and you get to see the cool leaves falling in the fall and the spring. You get so many really cool flowers popping up and it feels great, but that also means you get the downsides as well. So during the summer, I personally don't care at all because I would rather have be warm out but in the summer it does get into the 90s and we do have high humidity so if you're used to the cold and having it only be in the 80s during the summer st louis might be an issue for you my wife grew up in ohio and michigan and moving here to st louis she still does not get used to the summer and hates them being outside thankfully we're able to just go out to the park or bars or just hanging out with friends usually after 7 p.m it's usually not too hot and humid but during the day it's not fun at all <laughs> now spring and fall fantastic love it except during the spring we do get some floods since you know we're on the Mississippi River but really not that bad during the winter though this is what I hate I know that it's a uh, not really as bad as up north in Michigan New York the, the up north states but I still just hate the cold our average high for January is 40 degrees Degrees, which isn't too too bad but it does get into the 20s very very frequently for the high for the day and we do get a little bit of snow it's really not that much to be freaking out over it's just I hate the cold and here in st. Louis you get all four seasons so if you hate the cold like I do it might just be something that you need to deal with or just prepare for now the second thing that you might hate about living in st. Louis is the traffic now don't get it twisted we are nothing compared to New York Atlanta Chicago or a lot of places in California. Our traffic really isn't too, too bad.
bad. The average commute time here in St. Louis is 24 minutes, where the national average is 26 minutes. However, depending on where you live, it can be not fun commuting every single day to the different parts of St. Louis. I wanna just make sure that you know kind of what to be expecting. So when you're looking for your home, you know exactly where you want to be looking for to avoid an hour commute. So within St. Louis, we have a lot of major highways. Most of them run from east to west, and we have one major highway going north to south, aka 270, and a few other major roads that go north to south, like Lindbergh, 141, Kings Highway, and those are very crowded during rush hour. Now the major highways also get crowded going east to west, uh, but not as much as going north to south. So if you are someone that's gonna be working in the middle of St. Louis, like Clayton or a little farther north in Creve Coeur, something like that, maybe living in South County and the south part of St. Louis might not be great because it does take a little bit of a hike to get up north. Or if you are looking in the West County or St. Charles or anything like that, but working downtown, it can also be taking at least 30 minutes to get downtown, even not during rush hour. The cool thing that I do love about St. Louis is that you can get just about anywhere in St. Louis in about 45 minutes, as long as it's not rush hour, but it is something to be considering and potentially hate about St. Louis if you are working in a place that is not very close to your home. The third thing that some people might hate about living in St. Louis is one that my wife and other people that I've talked to that have moved to St. Louis from out of town hate about it, and that's that it's hard to make friends. Now, we are a small, big town where we are very friendly and welcoming. However, we don't necessarily be going out of our way to make other friends. We, a lot of people in St. Louis have grown up here and already have their friend group and their niches and sometimes just don't be as welcoming to new people that are moving here in St. Louis. Now, what I always recommend and I've heard that a lot of people have a great success with is to get connected within the community. So like volunteering, going to church, going to social groups, and there's a lot of Facebook groups that are for newcomers and like people that just graduated college and things like that. I mean, it just takes a little bit of time to find friends. Uh, with a lot more people moving to St. Louis, I'm hoping that it becomes a lot easier for those people that are just moving to become friends. But compared to other cities where there's a lot of people moving in and out very quickly and people needing to make friends, it can be a little more difficult in St. Louis compared to some of those cities with high people moving in and out. The fourth thing that you might hate about St. Louis, and it's one that I personally hate, is that there is a stigmatism about St. Louis City. And this is one brought on by those who are out of state and haven't lived in St. Louis, and those that are actually here in St. Louis and have grown up in the area. So St. Louis City is the murder capital of the United States, but that stat is misleading because because the St. Louis city population is only 300,000 people, where the St. Louis metro area is 2.8 million people. It's really weird here in St. Louis, but it's broken up into a lot of major counties, the largest one being St. Louis County of over 1 million people. So the stat is technically true that St. Louis is the murder capital of the United States, but it's very misleading because it only accounts 10% of the population of all of St. Louis. The other thing is that 67% of violent crimes in St. Louis City happen in only 10% of St. Louis City. So that's a very small area of the entire St. Louis City. And it really gets a bad name for St. Louis because there's only a portion of it that has a very high crime rate. And this is called the Hayden's Rectangle where the majority of the violent crimes are happening. Now I'm not saying you're not supposed to go to that area. You shouldn't be buying a house in that area you can obviously be doing your own research. Just wanted to be explaining where a lot of these statistics are coming from. Now, a lot of people that have even grown up in St. Louis have this stigmatization that St. Louis City is still not safe. And that's based on decades of St. Louis City having very high crime rates. But our crime rates are decreasing. There's a lot of investment
movement happening within St. Louis City and honestly, it's very attractive. It's one reason that my wife and I live in St. Louis City. There's a lot for it to offer. And I'll have friends and family members and other people come to St. Louis City to grab a bite to eat or drinks, going to the park or different things like that. And every single time that there's a gathering, I have one person be like, I did not know that this was here. This area is so cute. And also get questions like, do you like this area? Is it a safe area? And it just gets me so frustrated because yes, it's a great area. Do you see people walking dogs all the time? You have so many millennials with young kids walking right now and it's getting dusk time right now. <laughs> it's just a little frustrating and one thing that I personally hate about St. Louis is the stigmatism about St. Louis City. This ties into the next thing to hate about St. Louis is that there is a separation between St. Louis County and St. St. Louis City. So I mentioned that before, St. Louis City has a population of only 300,000 people. Well, back in the 1800s, there was a separation between the county and the city. So we essentially have two separate governments. We have the city, which has their own ordinances and townships and different things like that. And then there's also the county and then other counties west as well. And it makes it difficult for all of St. Louis to really get behind something because there's a lot of different moving parts and governments involved. The sixth thing that you might hate about living in St. Louis is that we are in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's not cornfield for days like you might expect the Midwest to be like, but there aren't really that many things to be doing outside of the St. Louis Metro. So a lot of people like to go on vacations by going up north to the lakes, going to Florida for beaches or out to California, East Coast, West Coast, different things like that. And it does take a little bit of time to get out there by flying or driving just because middle of nowhere doesn't have great vacation spots. We don't have mountains, beaches. We do have lakes, but still not as great as the Great Lakes. So that's not a great thing. But we are super close to a lot of major cities and makes it very drivable for a weekend getaway. Places like Kansas City, Nashville, Memphis, Chicago, Louisville. I'm sure I'm forgetting other ones and I'm sorry, other major cities. But that's one thing to love about St. Louis is that you're easily able to drive to another city and spend the weekend there. Honestly, that's what a lot of my friends do for bachelor parties or bachelorette parties going down to Nashville or Louisville, had them in Memphis and people will go up to Chicago for the weekend just to get away and, and see places. So that's also fun. The seventh thing you might hate about living in St. Louis is how we like to do our small talk. Now what I mean by that is it's very common for us in St. Louis to ask the question, so where'd you go to high school? Do you don't know how to answer that? You think that's a weird question? <laughs> well, it is a weird question except here in St. Louis, it's very common and something that you will get asked if you are here in St. Louis because I don't know where this came from, but we just assume a lot based on where someone went to high school because you can usually gauge on their socioeconomic status, maybe what their parents did, what area they grew up in, whether it's North County, Mid County, South County, in the city, in the Jefferson County, different places like that. So you're able to really gauge a lot based on it and then talk to them about whether it's high school sports or different things accustomed with the area. So it's really just a way to to size up the other person and hopefully find something else to talk to them about. It's becoming a little less frequent and people are finding other things to be asking to continue the conversation, but that is something that you will be asked many times. I know my wife, she'll just say where she went to high school and then people from St. Louis will be like, wait, where, where is that? And then she'll just say, oh, I'm from out of town. And, and it's something that you just shrug off very easily. The eighth thing that you might hate about living in St. Louis is that you cannot escape the fandom of our sports. We are extremely passionate here and love our sports teams of the Cardinals and the Blues. And there's already so much support for our new MLS soccer club. And it will come up a lot during just regular old conversations. So if you're not a sports fanatic, unfortunately, you're probably 
probably gonna hear about it a little bit. Even people that don't love sports semi follow the Cardinals or the Blues, and it's a pretty common occurrence to wanna go to those specific games. And if you're someone that strongly supports another team, like Chicago Cubs, first of all, I'm sorry for you, but it can be a little more difficult for those people that support other teams. Now, because we lost the Rams, if you're a fan of another football team, you might not have that much of a hard time, but if you're a fan of a baseball team, you're probably gonna get made fun of a little bit because no one compares to the Cardinals. The last thing that you might hate about living in St. Louis is probably the most controversial one of all of these topics, even though it's actually lighthearted. And if you grew up in St. Louis, you probably love it, but if you are from out of town, you probably hate it. And that is Provel cheese. For those of you who don't know, Provel cheese is a combination of a lot of different cheeses together. And then some people love the taste of it and we usually put it on our pizzas, but people from out of town are just like, it just tastes weird and it's a weird consistency and they don't love it. So if you're a pizza fan, this could be a little difficult for you. My in-laws who grew up in Detroit, they love their pizza and are still trying to find a pizza place that they love here in St. Louis because a lot of them do have Provel cheese. Obviously you can substitute it out, but they say that it doesn't even compare to other pizza places and they just absolutely hate Provel. If there is any Provel on any of their pizzas, they're like, I, I just don't even like it. The other thing is that our pizza is very thin crust, like thin of thin crust, and a lot of people make fun of our pizza that it's just a cracker with tomato sauce and Provel cheese on it. But if you grew up in St. Louis, a lot of them love it, and if you don't like Provel cheese, I'm sorry, but just another thing that you might hate about St. Louis. There are clearly things to be hating about St. Louis because no city is perfect, but there's also so much to love as well. And I talk about all those great things in my other videos as well, so make sure to be checking those out. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to be texting or calling me so I can make sure to figure out exactly what you're looking for. So when you do come here, you don't have some of these headaches that other people might when they move to St. Louis. All right, and my dog is whining a little bit because my decor went down. So I'll be right back in a second. Honey, I'm trying to tell these people all about the things to hate in St. Louis, but you're definitely not one of them, okay? So I need to let you down. 